Welcome everybody. Welcome to Channeling Korea. Today is August the 1st, 2021. We're into August. This year is just flying by. And um, so for the channeling this evening, I want to like other channeling is to start by doing a brief meditation before I go into the channeling. So I invite all of you to start to turn your attention inward and use your breath to assist you in doing that. So take a deep breath in and let it all go. And then take another deep breath in And let it all go as well. And take another deep breath in. And let it all go. And continue to take in deep breaths. To use your own breathing rhythm to assist you in starting to relax your body as you taking in deep breaths and also letting go completely. You're sending a signal to your body that you are ready to relax and that you don't have to engage in the fight or flight mode anymore. You are ready to relax. And when your body is relaxed, your mind can follow suit, can start to relax as well. And if thoughts come in, then just allow it to come in without trying to chase the thought. Just allow the thought to come in and simply go back to your body. Pay more attention to your body, to your senses, to experiencing, and less attention to thinking. So use your body, use your breath and use your body to allow you to get to the point where you can be one with your body. That you can simply be. As you breathe, you are one with your breath. As you feel any sensation, in your body, you are one with your body. And the more you can do that, the easier it is to slow down your thinking mind and eventually to let go of thinking and simply be in the present moment. Be fully present to everything that is happening to your body. And as you find yourself dropping into the stillness within your body. Naturally move away from your head, from your brain area, and start to move into your heart. Just imagine that you're stepping inside 
this energetic elevator. And the elevator is taking you from your head and starting to move into your heart. Whatever that feels like for you when you're in your heart, that's perfect. When you're in your heart, feel what it feels like to be completely open to unconditional love. Whatever those words mean to you, allow yourself to feel and be in the moment with your body with unconditional love in your heart. Allow yourself to feel more of that unconditional love with each breath that you breathe in. And as you breathe out, let go of anything that is taking you away from this moment, from being present to your body. As you feel your heart being filled up with unconditional love, allow that to move to all parts of your body. Fill your whole body up with unconditional love, whatever that feels like in your body. Allow yourself to feel that. Use your breath to assist you in pulling in more unconditional love all throughout your body. Until all of your body, from the top of your head all the way down to the soles of your feet, are all filled up with unconditional love. Send a beam of unconditional love to Mother Earth. Send love to Mother Earth from your heart all the way to connect with the heart and the consciousness of Mother Earth. And as you establish that communication with Mother Earth, feel Mother Earth returning your love a million times over. And at the same time, send a beam of love from your heart all the way through the top of your 
head to the sun, to Father Sky. Communicate with the sun, with Father Sky. Let Father Sky know that you wish to communicate with Father Sky. And as this connection is established, feel Father Sky returning your love a million times over. And feel yourself being filled up, saturated, and surrounded by unconditional love from Father Sky and from Mother Earth. Both. Both the sun, father sky, and mother earth, both are here to support each and every one that is playing on earth. That is the way it is supposed to be. And that is the way it has been designed. And this connection is natural. Even when you don't send love to Mother Earth, even when you don't send love to Father Sky. Father Sky and Mother Earth will send love to you. You're always surrounded by love because that is the nature of Father Sky. That is the nature of Mother Earth. And that is also your nature as well. Love is your nature. It's not something that you need to tune into or fill up with. All of these Imagining yourself being filled up is simply to bring that to your attention because you have been so disconnected by this feeling, by this connection, this natural connection. You are a part of this whole cosmology. You are not separate from. You are a part of this union between the sun and the earth and all the other luminaries, all the other planets. We are all part of one. We are all swimming in the soup of love. It is only in your awareness. It is only in your disconnectedness that you seem to think you are 
not a part of this natural union, this natural oneness of all creation. We say this to remind you that you are already a part of one. So allow you to get used to that feeling. Get used to that feeling of connection, that feeling of being loved beyond measure. That is the truth. Disconnection is the lie. However, since you are the creator of your own experience. You have participated out of your own free will choice to feel that disconnection. And now, if it is your free will choice, you can once again come back home. Come back to the soup of oneness so that when you wake up in the morning, you remember that you are part of one, that you are part of love. And before you go to bed, allow yourself to feel that connection with all of creation. Synchronize with that love. Let that be the first thing you feel and remember and know in your knowingness. And let that be the last thing you think of before you drift into a different reality. Allow yourself to feel totally connected to all of creation. That is the reality Feel that, feel that truth for yourself if that is what you choose to. It's an open invitation from creation to come back home and join in the rest of creation. The quarantine is over. The disconnection is over. Let it be over also in your awareness. Let connection be your real reality now.
Start to condition yourself to expect that feeling of oneness and connection. Expect it. It has always been that way. That is the space in between that is within the ether, within the energy of space, of every crack of space. This oneness is universal. However, if you so choose, and only if you so choose, you may choose to experience disconnection. Our only question is why? You have choice. You always have that choice to come back home, to start to be in that oneness. Allow yourself to start to remember Just to start to remember what it is. To be a part of creation. To be so connected that every thought you think is not just your thought, it's also the thought of all of creation. To let go of that shame or embarrassment that what you're thinking can now be picked up by all of creation. It has always been like that. It is simply your shame and guilt and embarrassment that you have created a separate reality where your thoughts are separated where you do not wish to hear other people's thoughts and you created the reality where thoughts are private personal And that your creation is your creation only. A 
it takes getting used to. Get used to the fact that thoughts are thoughts. Thoughts belong to everyone. Creation belongs to everyone. And this is how reality actually work. Sure, you can hide thoughts. You can create that reality. And that is entirely up to you. But for those who are open to all of creation, Thoughts are free it is there for everyone who wish to tap into to know At some point, at some point, in your reintegration back into oneness, you would no longer be embarrassed. You would understand. that thoughts are energy. Energy has no boundaries. There is no such thing as your thought. No such thing as someone's thought. Energy is energy. Every thought you have ever thought has been recorded by you. And it has already been shared. To all of creation. It makes for a really interesting relationship. When there is nothing to hide. And no matter what you are saying, 
what words you choose. No matter what language you use, that we can communicate, we will be able to understand one another. Because it's all energy. And we know how to interpret energy. At least unconsciously, we do. We know how to interpret. Consciously, we may not be. Consciously, we may create the illusion and there are certain things we don't understand because of the language and that may be an interesting game to play But know that that is just an alternative reality that we create and construct. And that there are other players outside of that constructed reality that can simply just tap in and be able to read the thoughts, the energy with no difficulty at all. And the more you can let go, and simply allow yourself to get comfortable with the idea that there is ever only one, and that we are all aspects of that one entity, one soul. And the idea of thoughts being open for all of creation become easier and more natural to accept. As you learn to let go of the things that keep you small, as you learn more about who you truly are. It would be easier It would be easier to let go of that self-consciousness, that fear, the 
fear that someone else can get into your head. Your soul, your cells, each and every one of your cells within your body, all of your being is constantly communicating and sending out information about who you truly are, what you're thinking, This is what your body is actually designed to do, to send all information, to share those information. So that when there is another player, another entity close by, they would be able to pick up on your broadcast and be able to play with you, to interact with you in a way that would trigger you and support you. To experience all that you're ready to experience. That is the main function of your body is to send out signals to communicate. And your body does that naturally. No need for mechanical device to assist you. It already knows how to do it unconsciously. You unconsciously tell people how they need to communicate with you to support you. To be the best that you can be. It is truly a beautiful design. If only we can let go of the fact that we need to keep something hidden. To only share 95% to always leave something back for ourselves. In a new paradigm, we are being asked We can either support this or we can start to sabotage this oneness 
directive. That is the unconscious directive. That we are always broadcasting our energy signature, our thoughts. Who we truly are is something that we send signal out to let others know where to find us, how to find us. So if you're interested you're interested to move into higher dimensions then let go let go of the need that you need to be disconnected that you need to hold on to your own thoughts. That there may be a reason, no matter how nonsensical that reason may be, Allow yourself to let go. Let go of the need. Of let go of that need that you need to control information. Control information from coming in and control information from going out. The natural flow is that all information all of the information It's freely accessible and you can choose where it is, what it is, and how deeply you want to tap into ideas, people, places and things. Allow yourself to once again come back. Come back to oneness. Come back to your home. I highly recommend that you allow this to happen, to simply let go.
connect with Mother Earth, Father Sky. Feel that connection. And know that that connection is always there. What keeps this connection is simply your awareness, your consciousness. Allow yourself to participate, to get back, to get back. Into oneness. Get back into knowing everything. Get back into having access to tap into whatever it is that you're interested to know. Nothing is being withheld. The only one that is blocking the access is you. When you accept yourself, when you fully accept yourself and know that there is no such thing as a bad thought, no such thing as an action that is worthy of shame, no such thing as an action that is worthy of guilt, no such thing as an action that is worthy of blame. And that all is simply a story that you have made up to keep yourself in this loop when you're ready to let go of those experiences, when you're ready to let go of who you think you are, and allow yourself to simply be, simply be open to all of creation. You allow yourself to get back. To being you.
your essence. The unlimited you. It is available. All of this is available. It is time to let go. It is time to come back home. Back home. And join in all of creation. And welcome home. And that is all the message that we would like to share with you this evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you.